Hello everybody, it's Edwina from Minecraft Orchard. How are you? Happy Valentine's! So today, um, in this video, I thought I'd go through some of the things that I love being as it's Valentine's. And obviously everybody knows I love my husband and my family and my and Harry, uh, my son and everything like that. Um, but I thought I'd tell you a few of my favourite um, planning supplies as well as some of the other things. Um, I've had a lot of new subscribers recently and I just thought it'd be nice if you got to know me as a person a bit better. So as you can see this is some crochet um, and I just love crocheting, crafting, knitting, I own a spinning wheel, I make bobbin lace, anything to do with crafts I just absolutely love. Um, I think in all of the years that I've been crafting there's only, it's, it's not very often that I sit down to tell you without my knitting in front of me or some crocheting. I teach crafts, I teach crocheting, I teach, um, I run a craft club which has started up since uh, January and I've been running, helping my mum run a craft club uh, for years. So yeah, real passion, lifelong passion, um, crocheting, knitting, all of those sort of things. So that was the first thing that I love. The second thing is this cover. So all of you planning ladies will probably recognise this as a motum. I just love this. I had this off AliExpress. Um, and at the moment it houses my writing journal, which is a, a passion that I've had for years but never really done anything about. And I started dabbling last year, still trying to get back into my writing this year. I do intend to. Um, so this cover, this green cover, A5, that's my favourite size. I do love an A5. Um, this, uh, since I had it last year, I think it was, has been in my planner um, stash all of the time. It's had different journals in it. It's had nostalgia in it. It had a bullet journal in it. All of those sort of things. But this thing... I just love this so much and green is definitely my colour. So that's another thing and while I've got this and I've got a nice dark background I thought I'd show you my next thing that I love which is stencils. I just love stencils. I can't draw to save my life and I can't do um, hand lettering either. Um, so these are a couple of children's stencils that have got the alphabet on. Um, I use those a lot. Um, and then this is one I think I picked up off Amazon. I have actually got a whole video telling you how I store these, which I will link below if you're interested in how I actually store all my, my stencils. Um, but I'm just showing you a bit of a, a selection today. So this one is in permanent use and so is this one particularly at this time of year when I'm setting up journals and I'm setting up things because it's got all the months on that is really useful I don't tend to use the weather ones I have to say um, but definitely the months um, now the next collection of stencils some of these are absolutely brand new so that is a life wheel and I have some number ones and I have a honeycomb one. I haven't used this one yet. I'm looking forward to using that one. I have a balloon. This looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love that one. Uh, hexagon sort of habit tracker type. And this one, oh, I can't wait to use this one, is a pumpkin spice stencil now all of these last few stencils are from upside daisy i'm obsessed with their washi i have their subscription box every quarter i load of stuff off christmas i just love upside daisy stuff again i'll link them below if you're interested in having a look they're a uk um 
st stencil supply yeah they they supply stencils absolutely but they also do journals and washi tape and subscription boxes and pens love that this is got to be my favorite i have to say so crochet crafting love it stencils are my go-to because i cannot um draw or lettering or anything like that this cover you can see i'm just stroking it because i love it so much the next thing is in this box now i don't have an awful lot of washi tape Woohoo! love washi tape who doesn't love a bit of washi tape particularly us journalists um and one of the reasons is i was starting my collection of washi tape and i watched a video and i cannot remember who it was by who said that if you don't use your washi it's the stickiness on the back of it starts to go too sticky or permanently sticky and when you come to to pull off the the washi tape like that it doesn't do that it rips or you, you find yourself picking at it or because the stick is not quite right and the reason for that is because it's getting a bit old and I thought I would rather use the washi tape I love than have it sit in a box me not loving it not wanting to use it because I love it too much so it's one of those dilemmas when you love something you need to use it you need to you know <laughs> why have you, why are you keeping it in a box you bought it to use so use it it's one of those type of dilemma things um that we could get into so washi tape love it love it who doesn't love a bit of washi tape so the next thing is this now you're going, okay Edwina, is it Minecraft that you love or is it Lego that you love? Well actually I love both. <laughs> the truth is I love Lego, I have since I was a child and since I've had my son he's had boxes and boxes of Lego which is I think what he's doing at the moment. But then he also likes Minecraft and to get him going with it I decided that I would have to play so I could show him how to mine and how to craft and all those sort of things and I've, I've, I've absolutely did to be Minecraft <laughs> so yes I am a gamer I would like to put that uh, title on me um, I love Minecraft I love farming games computer games PS games on my tablet yeah all of that that is my sort of my brain no no brain time i like to to game so minecraft love it okay so the next thing i love is bullet journaling i would say i love it i love bullet journaling i really do and this is actually um last january um, when I was in this bullet journal um, and we went into lockdown and I was just trying lots of different spreads out using my stencil numbers using my washi tape lots of different pens I'm going to show you what pens I love in a minute um, stickers love a sticker love love stickers I just love this whole journey thing I think <laughs> so yeah bullet journal is my go-to but again i think it's more of a, a like a love hate relationship type thing because i love bullet journaling i don't like the time it takes you to draw out spreads every month or every week and so that's why i'm at the moment i'm on my inami planner because it's already there it's already to go i don't have to draw anything out i can just fill it in and when i'm very busy the bullet journal spreads don't get used or don't get created and therefore I don't use my planner it, it's one of those sort of dilemma type things um, but I love it and I miss it the fact that I'm not in a bullet journal at the moment I, I am missing that and we're halfway through February and so you might find the beginning of March that I've got a notebook out and, um, and I'm off again with <laughs> everything <laughs> without like that 
so yeah bullet journal absolutely love it well i am going to show you also something else i love and um, i have way before my son was born which is cycling the tour de france particularly now i love cycling i watch the tour every year i watch try and watch the giro and the vuelta as well big chris Froome fan chris thomas garrett garrett thomas fan i just love it i've actually also been to see the cycling as it came locally to me for the tour of britain it's amazing if you are a cycling fan you'll know exactly what i mean and if you're not a cycling fan give it a go because oh, it, it's just so exciting <laughs> and you wouldn't think a load of men in like on bikes would be exciting but it is it certainly is so another thing i love and as you can see i've put that in my bullet journal <laughs> okay two more things that i'm going to show you and the next one is dinosaurs i'm obsessed with these i have to say jurassic park is amazing and i've recently read the book um and so that's why i got this one to read the book because i've seen all the films but I haven't read the book so that's what i'm doing at the moment they are so different from the the films it's amazing um the fact i've got double dinosaurs is fabulous absolutely fabulous Obviously, this is the um, Jurassic World one, but I've got all the Jurassic Park ones as well. And the last, or should I say the next instalment of Jurassic World is coming out in June here in the UK. And you know what? I'm going to be watching it. I am going to the cinema for a self-date to watch jurassic world in 3d and i'm gonna popcorn i'm gonna have whatever i like because it's a self-date and i do this every time a film comes out so as soon as harry's gone to school that'll be what i'll be doing okay and the last thing i want to show you are pens this pencil case it's just my sister bought me this i tell you what i use it all the time and the favouritest thing I've had recently in terms of pens is this Micron pen. Um, this came in an Upsa Daisy subscription box and I really like those. I've never had one. I've tried it. Love it. Fountain pens. I've got a video on fountain pens if you're interested. Um, again, do love a fountain pen. But these are the piece to do i can't even say it. the best things ever let's say <laughs> big intensity pens okay i have them in a lot you can get them in a lot of different colors and the reason i love these so much is because in nearly everything that i've written in and there's been a lot these they do sometimes the darker color particularly the purple one um shadows through but they don't bleed through and they dry and they don't sit on top of the, the paper or anything so in all of my go-to pens these are the ones that i would recommend absolutely okay and i've used these in moleskines of nostalgy uh, cheaper notebooks um tone river paper the lot and these really do um, do the thing that we want to do where bullet journaling is concerned. So, pens, bullet journaling, washi tape, Minecraft, stencils, dinosaurs. Just love them all okay i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this was a, a nice insight into some of the things i love um if you want to see more of what i'm doing and and all of those sort of things make sure that you've subscribed 
if you enjoyed this video please give it a good thumbs up and if there is anything you want to see if there's anything I've touched on or anything I've spoken about or you have questions leave them in the comments below I'll be more than happy to answer anything that you have okay my craft orchard with skills and ideas from there I'll see you next time